All right, morning guys, it's Monday. And uh, this one that I'm doing today is for all the Ford Super Duty guys who have um, manual lumbar adjustment in their uh, power seats. I've got my uh, 2002 F-250 Lariat here. And uh, I was going down the road the other day and I had the lumbar turned up, which I normally do. And uh, felt it pop. Now, of course, you see I have the side panel off the seat here. Um, there's really not much to taking that off, and I wasn't sure where to start, so I started here. Um, basically, you pop the knob off of the lumbar, which is out here at this point. It just pops straight off. Um, there's a screw there. Sorry for the uh, earthquake cam there. But there's a screw there, and there's a screw there, and there's a screw in the handle itself for the uh, reclining on the seat. You take that off and it comes off the bar. And uh, there's a, another screw in that bracket up front, and uh, then there's just a little clip down there. Nothing major, um, but uh, that's what we got. So I took that all apart, and then you have your seat back here that I've got removed. And uh, by looking at the back of it, you can deduce how it comes off. That's the bottom. There's two uh, push rivets in it right there. And uh, then there's these hooks here, here, and at the top. The top ones hook under this rail, and the side ones hook there. And uh, mm, thinking right here. So um, I wasn't sure what happened to it, if the cable broke or the spring broke or how it was is going, but uh, when I removed the seat back, I found that spring and that metal tab. Now that metal tab goes right there. You can see it's shiny metal there that broke off. And we'll go look at the other side so you can understand how this works. Uh, I did a bunch of research online, and this is not always the case. In fact, it didn't even list anything about this. Um, let's get a flashlight. Where the heck's my flashlight? I have to get you guys a flashlight. Stand by. So I've already kind of devised a fix for this, and I'll explain to you what I'm going to do. Okay, now that we're over on this side, you see that little tab, how it angles out, and then the cable loops through it right here. I'm going to make a new tab, just like that, and I'm going to take it probably through that hole in the bottom, or I will uh, figure out a way to attach it here and here. I like that because there's already a hole there, and I think that'll work. I can put a small bolt through that hole and you put that spring on it no big deal so we're going to go ahead and get that done and uh, once i get something set up i'll bring you guys back and show you how i do it all right so i started to make this new piece here and i'll show you what i did I just cut myself a little piece of uh, 18 gauge sheet metal and i put a 90 degree bend in it and I'm going to drill a hole through the bottom to bolt it. And I'm going to drill a hole through this top to uh, put the loop of the spring through. So we'll go ahead and uh, work on that for a couple minutes here. And uh, we'll show you how that goes. I'll move you guys back so we don't get any sparks in the camera. I had made these uh, pieces of scrap steel when I was putting the uh, rear bed panels in the Duramax just to kind of keep things level and I saved them when I knocked them off. I'll drive 
press them a little nicer. I just want to knock some edges off them so when I'm handling them, I don't get stuck. Okay, now let's take this over and compare it to the old piece that I have. Put a couple marks on it here, or at least one to start off with. Just going to set this old one uh, up on here. Now we're going to make a dot so we can drill a hole. Make sure I got it on there the right way. Guess I could drill it from the other side. Doesn't really matter. And I don't know how uh, crucial this hole getting that in the same spot will make a difference or not. Um, let me get you guys set back over there. See what size hole I got here. You guys have seen me use the old uh, dial calipers here before. Of course, I didn't pick up the piece I need to measure. Not that this is rocket science. Yeah, it measures. 290 thousandths, or 190 thousandths, excuse me. It's almost 200 thousandths, and uh, again, I'm sure it doesn't make any damn difference. Oh. And of course, I got no light in here. Let's see what the low light performance of this camera is. Uh, wow, better than I thought. Uh, let's see, uh, it's just short of 5 sixteenths. Uh, 3125 is 5 16 so we'll get a drill bit now if I had a nice vise for my drill I'd put it or drill press I'd put it in that but I don't so I'll get this thing set up and I'll bring you back all right guys here's kind of what I devised I've got this uh, shiny new piece of metal in here the holes in the same spot I was gonna bolt it but I changed my mind I punched a couple of holes in it there and there with the old uh, flange punch tool. And I'm gonna put a couple of plug welds in it right there and there. Um, I didn't wanna drill any more holes in the bottom of this because there's already a couple holes in it that are kind of like those, um, same deal. So I'm gonna double check this before I go welding it up. I'm 99.9% .9 positive I've got it facing the right way, but let's take a look in case I took the paint off the wrong damn side which would suck now it looks like that little rubber isolator pad is toward the bottom and the little uh, finger things are toward the top just double checking I mean it it has to only go one way because that's where the square was that uh, ripped out now had somebody comment the other day on uh, well, let's talk about toolboxes real quick because this is where the comment came from. I welded up these cracks right here and I didn't mention on camera but I'm going to make a plate for each one of these to go over the inside like a big strap and drill holes in it so it can pull down on that instead of just pulling at this little area. Um, and they suggested that I drill holes where those cracks start otherwise they'll keep cracking. Now that would probably be fine if I were going to uh, not be making the straps to go across this whole area from the inside to cinch it down to the fender. Now let's go back here and talk about this. See in the corners there, there's a hole on each corner where it was like it was pierced first in a circle so that the stress wouldn't come off of the corner of that old piece and break it's still fatigued out in the middle. Now, this is a little bit different scenario, of course, but uh, that's one reason why I didn't mess around drilling them out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on the application. It might work for the toolbox, but it cer certainly didn't work for this. So we're gonna get the welder out, and we're gonna put two plug welds in there, and then we're gonna reassemble it. So I'll bring you guys back once I zap some plug welds in there, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, there it is. I got two plug welds in it. I don't know what the hell contaminated that one. I had it sandblasted clean. Set you guys down over here for a second.
and I went ahead and used the two holes that were already there in the bottom and put, there's four plug welds, two from this side and two from the top. I'm gonna squirt some paint on that and uh, I'm gonna test fit it first. So we'll get you set up over there and we'll get the test fit going. All right guys, I weaseled this thing back in. Now I wanna show you a couple of things here. This was just a test fit to make sure that it works. Now you can see there's a little, like a, a grommet right there. And it's got a slit in this side and those grommets can spin around because the steel is notched on the side that faces outward toward the camera. So basically what you have to do, and it's a fight, I won't lie to you, basically I left this panel disconnected got my spring in the hole down here and then you have to almost uh, pull down on the top of this and get it to bow in like the lumbar is activated and make sure that your knob is turned all the way out so that you can see I think you can see the end of the uh, ferrule on the cable there you want it all the way relaxed so you have as much cable as possible because the way that this works when you engage the lumbar it pulls that cable tighter through that spring and it's a real fight to get that cable and its end up through that spring but once you do that and the whole thing's back in you can take these grommets and twist them sideways so that it can't pop back off of this and that's basically how that goes now I'm gonna see if I can get you guys set on the seat back here and let you watch uh, I don't know if this will work or not we're gonna try it hopefully the camera doesn't fall but you'll get to watch it I'm gonna engage it you can see I don't have the knob on it over here but it's getting shorter it's kind of bear to turn it But you can see how it works now that I think is going to be just fine for a fix flip my screen around here um, it's pushing out and basically all that happened was that old metal tab got fatigued down there and it just snapped loose so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this uh, painted up here and uh, once it dries I'll reassemble it and uh, that's about it I'll show you how to put the seat back uh, together and all that So hang tight guys. I'll bring you back in a bit. All right guys. I'm gonna try and do this. I got the camera set up on the uh, Rear seat that's folded up. Hopefully I don't bump it and knock you guys down but uh, We've got our plate here for the lumbar support. I've got it upside down of course um, Got the hole in the bottom right there and this spring needs to go well, so that the hook right here faces inward. So I'm going to set it in my lap here. I'm not going to show you me fighting it in there. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of push my cable out of the way for a second so you guys can see. But uh, I'm just going to set this kind of like that. Um that's not where its final position is but there's like a little ledge in here and I can pull down on this and bend it so that I can get the cable to go in so we're gonna take I'll show you guys the, uh, the top of this here you've got these couple of holes here and this cable goes like up through here and it will eventually rest like that so I'll put you guys back on the back of the seat here and see if you can see what the hell I'm doing. So I've got it started in there. Now this is kind of a, a story of something like a monkey and a football, but we'll, uh, we'll leave that to your imagination. Um, I'm gonna, gonna scoot it over a little closer there. Now this cable, has to go around back of this spring eye and it gets looped in there and you'll see once I get it in there uh, exactly how it goes I can't talk today can I well, let's see 
get that right about there. Let's see if I can pull it up. I monkeyed it in there last time. We'll see if I can do it again. You just really got to have something to push against to fold this down, and you got to fumble around with that spring a little bit. You also want to make sure that cable is potentially as long as it can be, so I'm going to... Okay, it's at the stop. It can't get any longer. I might need to... I think I fought it behind here last time. So bear with me. It's just... It's not easy. We'll put it that way. I think this is the hardest part of the whole job right here, getting that spring back in there. It, it has to fit kind of snug. You don't want it stretched way out, but... Of course, I dropped the spring. This is the point of the video when you can insert your own expletives. Okay, we're in. So now you can see that cable, how it has to go. It goes up through the top of that spring. Now we need to weasel this whole thing behind these bars so that we can clip the bars into those little grommets. So we'll weasel that back out of the spot I had it wedged in and get it behind the bars and start to clip it in. There's one. Come on. Come on. There we go. There's two. Three. And four. The other thing they add a little zip tie here to keep the cable kind of in a certain position. You can see that right there. I just put it right back through there. Um, that's exactly how the other one was. So our hook is lodged in the top where it's supposed to be. Now the next thing you can see those slots. We need to spin those grommets around so that it can't pop back off when it's uh, being contracted. I've got a pair of needle nose here, and this is probably going to be not fun either. They weren't fun to spin in the first place, so I may have to, uh, yeah, I might get it. I might just get it. I don't know how far they were spun, but... I'd like to get them at 90 degrees. Or just past 90 degrees. And they are tough. They are really tough. Let's see if I can get one of these other ones to spin to kind of show you what I mean. That's a start. I'm going to shut you guys off because I bet this takes me 15 minutes or better to get these in here. But you can see I've started to get that slot moved around facing the side. And i got to do that with the other three. So I'll bring you back in a minute here. All right. That's as far as I can get those babies turned around in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this thing one last test. 
pushing against the back, which is what we want. We're going to let it up. And uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to set you on the seat for a second. I'm actually going to sit in this seat and make sure that it's pushing the way it's supposed to be pushing. I should have thought about that before, but... Uh, Now that doesn't work when you have a flashlight wedged in the seat track. There we go. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot here. Sorry for the uh, old earthquake cam here, but... feels good feels like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing I'll give you guys a shot of it here you can probably see what's going on just keep your eye on the middle of the seat there And that's full support, so she's puffed way out there, you can see, and we'll let it back down. Okay, that's fully relaxed. I already have the side seat panel on. Uh, I basically showed you where all the screws and fasteners were for that. I suspect you can figure that out on your own. It's really not a huge deal. You can see how dirty my seat is there. Set you guys back up on the seat here. And I'm going to tip this forward just to make it a little easier on all of us. I'll try and move this one more time here. I don't think I can. Nope, really can't. That's about it. Okay, I'm pretty confident that that's going to hold. Uh, the next thing you guys got to do, you have these uh, Christmas tree fasteners, whatever you want to call them. They have to go in a hole here and a hole over here. You can probably see it here. But you have the hooks on the top here and the hooks on the sides. So make sure I got my top of my seat cover hooked here and the way I'll do it is I'll try and slide it up into its spot and then uh, we'll take a peek from underneath here I don't know if we can see these or not you can see uh, your hole right there and see your fastener that fastener has to go into that hole so we'll go ahead and do that we'll know that I can I can't really prop this to do it so we'll set you guys back up here and I'll just kind of feel around to make sure I can get that where I want it sure that other one went in feels like it did but that one's definitely in this may have been off before those fasteners are a little worn out it's holding pretty good and that's it we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the seat 
seat back in the position here and slide her on back. That's pretty much it. So the hard part was getting the uh, the spring on the inside of that attached and the other part that I think was difficult for me at least I couldn't figure out how this knob came off and it does pull straight off you almost have to put a plastic bar in there and sort of separate it I thought I was gonna break it but it came apart and then I thought I messed it up because it was a little loose like this but the other ones the same way so that's pretty much it um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, quick video and uh, learned something. I, I did uh, learned a lot along the way on how to do this, so we will uh, catch you on the next one. See you guys.